Great. Let me throw in a song and then call you. No, no, I meant... I called the show so I could talk to... the psychic. Oh. All right. What's on your mind? There's... someone in my family who might be totally alone right now. I've been thinking of reaching out to her. The thing is, it's been seven years, and all that time I never got in touch. Maybe you weren't ready yet. Maybe if you had, it wouldn't have helped either of you. No, look, the truth is, I'm terrified of talking to her. I don't know what she's been through. I don't even know if she's okay. I'm freaking out that she hates me, and honestly, I bet I could handle that if I knew it was coming. So, I'm calling you to ask. What's gonna happen if I contact her? What's she gonna say? You know I'm not actually psychic, right? Shh, shh, don't ruin it. Okay. Give me a second. Hmm. You might not like what I'm seeing. Really? What would be tough for Gabe? But in a good way. You give her a call. She's surprised but really glad to hear from you. You start catching up, and at first it's wonderful. But the more you hear about her life, and what she's been doing these past seven years, the guiltier you feel. You stop really listening to her. You're too busy blaming yourself for every little thing she talks about. <sighs> yeah. But then, you remember what a psychic on the radio once told you. You can't make the guilt go away. Stop trying. So you focus on her needs instead of yours, and you quickly realize she doesn't give a crap about how you feel. She cares about what you do. You decide to step up and act like the big brother you should have been. You make sure talking to you is a good part of her day. You give her advice when she wants it, and shut up when she doesn't. You talk about her future, find a place for her in your life here. And one day, you look at her in her hiking boots and Colorado sweatshirt, <laughs> laughing at something you did. And you realize you completely forgot to feel guilty. Thanks. Thank you for calling. How's the station? You lonely over there? Honestly, no. Things are pretty great. Okay. Then I'll see you. Rita. built for that meditation class. Felt like termites were chewing up my fucking legs. How does Ducky make all of this stuff while also spending every waking minute of his life at the bar? Maybe time drop. The death metal holiday album I put out isn't getting much play, and I have no idea why. Fire. 
nothing quite like being artistically shown up by a 10-year-old to start your year off right. Misty looks a little creepy, but once you get to know her, she's actually armless. If it turns out I sold more bird call CDs than punk records this year, I'm gonna give Ryan a wedgie. My best thrift shop find. Ugly as sin, comfy as hell, and probably bed bug free. Sorry, Riley but that horse had to go. Fifteen bucks a month is pretty steep. Besides, I didn't need pro editing tools to get my song in good shape. Thanks for the heads up, Kasha. Whoops, haven't served Valkyrie her New Year's Eve treat yet. Only the best smoked salmon for my little terror. Damn, Mikey. Quixby's second in command really tore Elamana. His name is Quixby. Once renowned for his wisdom and knowledge, he was driven from the Sky Council after the Great Cloud Schism and has sworn revenge. Quixby is amassing great riches in order to build an indestructible weather machine and turn the skies black for a thousand years. He might be nocturnal, but now it's my turnal. It takes a beat for your eyes to adjust to the overwhelming shimmer. A sea of ruby, diamond, emerald, and of course, gold. What do you do next? The only thing I can do. Nat 20. Elamon dives headfirst into a pile of metal and glass and somehow, without any explanation, swims around in it as if it is water. Awesome. I did a bunch of work on my song.
My little idea has grown up into a whole ass song. Maybe I should share it with someone. Gotta keep the new hires in check if we ever get new hires. People here wear t-shirts in the winter and brag about not being cold, but those of us who've survived Seattle's death drizzle know better than to tempt the gods. Gotta add the latest game. Definitely a worthy match to close out the year. Look, your fundamentals are solid, but your trash talk needs some serious improvement. As of this moment, you are enrolled in Professor Gabe Chen's Trash Talk University. Damn, man, sounds prestigious. Okay, Professor, teach me. Lesson one. Gotta get in your opponent's head. Be ruthless. Use their insecurities against them. Hmm? Oh, sorry. I was just thinking about that pic Shar showed me of your scene phase. Oh, fuck you. Was it hard to play foosball with your hot topic bangs obscuring your line of sight? It was the mid 2000s, okay? Okay, let's move on to lesson two. You gotta flex your bragging muscles. Really just blast a guitar solo right in their stupid face, you know? Oh, you know a lot about blasting guitar solos, do you, Gabe? I know my way around a guitar. <laughs> sure you do, bud. Hey, how many instruments do you play? You wanna jam after this? Show me your skills. Oh, so close! Thank you so much for seeking an education at Gabe Chen's Trash Talk University. You just got school. Damn it. I was so sure I had you that time. Aw, Steph. Sweet, naive Steph. Sweet, pure, optimistic, bad at foosball Steph. Dude, knock it off. <sighs> Closing out the year the same way I started it. That's as good a sign as any. Time to say goodbye to this app.
It is New Year's Eve, Kind Haven listeners, and that means partying, smooching at midnight, and resolutions. Call in with your New Year's resolution, and Haven's best and only radio psychic will tell you how it goes. A peaceful herd of Splatosaurus. I've been speaking into that mic for almost a year, and I'm still not tired of it. Oh yeah, KRCT has gone pro, baby. Not that many listeners lately. My blimp wallet hardly needed to be said, so she hardly said it. It's an honor to be chosen as Olivia's elder gay. survive the long holidayless stretch until Valentine's Day? Not to worry. Spamps Grocery has you covered. Keep the winter cheer alive with even more decorations. Get a second Christmas tree, throw a light up 2019 sign on your lawn. Who cares what your neighbors think? And as we ready those New Year's resolutions, Spamps is your one-stop shop for 
healthy foods to eat during the two weeks you actually use your gym membership. Happy New Year from Spamps. My inner Tyler Durden hates this part of the job, but my inner Billy Mays loves it. Did you know that 80% of New Year's resolutions fail? Like my resolution to stop making up bogus statistics? <laughs> New Year. You're on with Steph. Oh, wow. Hi. I have a major problem I'd love your help with. My college minor was in major problems. Let's hear it. Okay. It's about a Christmas present I got this year from my grandma. Grandma gifts rule. They pull out all the stops. Yeah, that's kind of why I'm calling. My grandma bought me a $4,000 video camera with the lighting rig. Whoa. I know. I don't want her paying for that. She's a retired grocer. But it's not just about the expense. For a while, I wanted to be a movie director, and Grandma super latched onto it. DVDs, filmmaking books, online courses. Now this. I'm guessing you're not as into filmmaking anymore? Honestly, the more I've learned about the industry, the more I question if it's really something for me. So what do I do? Return the camera and just roll over her feelings with the truck? I will consult the cosmos. <sighs> 12 doesn't tell me much. What does one do with an overexpensive gift? Cosmos consulted. I'm braced for it. You return the whopper of a gift and come clean with Grandma after all those years of misguided presence. Oh, my stomach hurts. It's a thorny conversation, not at all softened by your Grandma's homemade raspberry tarts. Even though she's embarrassed, she's thankful that you were honest. It shows that you really do value her. That's a relief. And instead of video cameras, Grandma makes you a holiday sweater every year featuring Rudolph in various summertime occupations. Oh? Gardener, lifeguard, ice cream truck driver, seasonal orchard hand, that sort of thing. Is she trolling you? Mm, it's unclear. Huh. But you learned something important. Never return a gift from Grandma? No matter what happens, there's nothing you can say or do to make your grandma stop adoring you. And the more you get out in the world, the more people you meet, the more you realize how rare and special that is. Thanks, Steph. That means a lot. You got it. Come on, callers. could fit under the front door. Maybe concert tickets? If someone told me when I started this random ass job that we'd get popular enough to sell merch, I would have punched them in the foot. How does Ducky make all of this stuff while also spending every waking minute of his life at the bar? A fucking scavenger hunt on New Year's Eve? My friends are dorks. Something f-
A fucking scavenger hunt on New Year's Eve? My friends are dorks. Charlotte and I were not built for that meditation class. Managed to do three late night practice sessions this week. Hope I've done the old place proud. Damn, we had a good time together that day. We're gunning for Charlie Brown with this level of decor. Okay, tomorrow I'm finally clearing this off. New year, new bulletins. What the hell is Ducky up to? Valkyrie better be grateful. This cost me three whole dollars. The result of wine night with Charlotte, if memory serves. Well, KRCT has officially got a new logo by yours truly. Yeah, I'm definitely bringing this back for next year. Turns out every record I had on hold for myself was the perfect holiday gift for one of my friends. Damn, Ike. When did you turn into such a grown up? Dang it, Ryan. I tried to help you, bro. If it turns out I sold more bird call CDs than punk records this year, I'm gonna give Ryan a wedgie. Sorry, Riley, but that horse had to go. Happy New Year, Pro Melody T26. I never really found religious music inspirational. The folks who buy rap albums on vinyl are a rare and special group. My sweet, precious children, no one will hurt you here. They said, don't look far. So close to the front door, I guess.